Welcome, my name is Kaylee. This will be a 50 minute vinyasa flow style practice. If you're ready to go, you can meet me on your back on your mat. I prefer to start with my knees bent and my feet planted underneath the knees. It just feels a little bit gentler on the pelvis for most folks. Do what makes sense for you. And once you land, breathe in, breathe out. Maybe bring a palm to the belly the palm to the chest. A few cycles of breath here. And let yourself settle into your space. So you might tune into the temperature of the air. I was just talking about how warm it is here. You might tune into any sounds that happen to enter the space that you're practicing. Doing your best to make peace with them before we really get going. Any other sensations or bits of external awareness that you want to acknowledge? And then start to deepen and lengthen your pattern of breathing. So I'm going to practice a skill called interoception a lot during yoga. It's one of the main goals is to shift the sensory awareness from noticing what's going on outside of your body to noticing what's going on inside of your body. And I'll acknowledge that it is not a skill set that I'm really great at. It can be a little bit unsettling or even scary sometimes to check in with what's going on in the body if the body is feeling pain or discomfort. So see if you can meet yourself from a place of compassion if you're feeling great. Awesome, celebrate that. If you're dealing with some discomfort or pain, see if that can be okay too. Let this practice be about taking really great care of yourself. Take one more long inhale here. Let the belly fill up. Let the ribs expand in 360 degrees. So breathe into the back of the mat, breathe out to the sides. Hold the breath just for a moment at the top. Keep the face relaxed. Open your mouth, let it go. You might feel the hips ungrip a little bit. Bring the elbows to a goalpost or a W shape here. And then move the knees just a couple inches in both directions. So like I was saying, we're going to work on resetting the pelvis first. A lot of the time there's some degree of imbalance going on in the pelvis. And we just want to start from as much of a neutral as possible. So waggle the knees slowly side to side. If that feels great, feel free to increase your range of motion. I like to acknowledge at the beginning of a vinyasa class, like this will have some faster paced moments. But see if you can let yourself start slow. The culture really glorifies like go, 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 be busy, 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 100% of the time. And that makes it very hard tune in to what's going on in the body or to stay present in the moment. Just practicing slowing down for a moment so that you can fully arrive. Ditch the knee waggles, bring your feet down underneath the knees. Bring your palms down toward the sides of your body. Press the feet down, tuck the tailbone, and then lift up into a bridge here. This doesn't have to be the biggest bridge ever. Just look for some activation in the back side of the legs and the glutes. So we're starting from a pretty straight line from the underarms to the knees. So more looking to activate the muscles in the backs of the legs. Press the feet straight down as opposed to going for a big arc in the spine. We'll get there. But for now, building that strong, stable foundation in the feet and the legs. As you inhale, slowly lower the hips down and reach the arms back up over your head. Stretch out through the side body. Exhale back into bridge, palms to the sides. We're just going to oscillate between these two. Inhale, hips down, arms overhead. Keep moving like that. If it feels interesting, I'm going to turn to the side for a second. One thing that can be nice if you have the space to do so is to inhale the arms in a snow angel shape and exhale back down to the side. So still getting that big stretch and getting that support as you come into bridge with the palms side to sides, but opening up to the shoulders in a different way. Let's do a couple more here. 
The next time you're in your bridge, hold it at the top. Make sure that the feet are right underneath the knees. You might even walk them in just a little bit here and then press down 99% of your effort into your right foot, keep the left hip level. So usually what wants to happen is the left hip wants to drop down, keep it level, and then hover your left foot. Oof. Lots of right glute and hamstring engagement, lower the left foot. Shift the weight 99% to the left, keep the right hip level. Once you feel stable through that left side, lift the right knee, just hovering that foot. Both feet drop down again, hips high, 50-50, press down between the feet equally, and then roll it down slowly. Windshield wiper the knees side to side once more. And then bring the right knee over the right hip, left knee over the left hip. We're gonna come into a tabletop here. So the shins are parallel to the floor. Interlace your hands back behind your head and then tuck the tailbone just a little bit so that the lower back is kissing the mat so that the back of the ribs are pressing down. Extend the right leg forward without arching the back. So if the low back starts to peel up, bring the right leg up. Right leg comes forward. Tuck the chin into the chest gently and then curl up. Reach the right arm, right arm outside of your left knee and then lower and lift the right leg. Little pulses here. Keep squeezing through the abdominals, so waking up the core, firing up some of that central strength. Keep pressing the low back down. Imagine the hip points moving toward one another here. Three, two, and one. Head down, feet down, relax the belly, waggle the knees, let the back peel away from the mat a little bit. And we'll switch sides. Left knee over left hip, right knee over right hip, tuck the tailbone, press the back down and pull the abdominals down with it. Chin to chest as you curl up. This time left leg goes long, left arm outside of right knee. Lower and lift the left leg, keeping the connection between the back of the ribs and the mat. If you want, you can take these little couple bhati breaths through the first lips. Get a little extra in the core that way. Last three, two, one. Bring the knees to the chest. Circle the knees over the hips. Whatever way feels good. You might circle the knees in opposite directions here. Or keep them together and go clockwise a couple times, counterclockwise a couple times. Massage out through the lower back and the sacrum. When you're ready, cross the ankles, rock forward and backward. Meet me on your hands and your knees, finding a quadruped position here. Stack the shoulders over the wrists and you circle the shoulders over the wrists, circle the hips over the knees. Still connecting to that long pattern of breathing. Switch the direction of the circles. So long in the lower back and the spine. Come through neutral. Tip the tailbone up, let the chest drop toward the thumbs, and then lift the chin, finding cow. Breathe in. Tuck the tailbone down toward the knees, round the spine, tuck the chin into the chest, and push the hands down into your mat as you exhale for cat. Maybe give your head a gentle shake or a little nod. Back to cow. On the inhale, pull the chest through the upper arms. Cat pose on the exhale, push the palms down and then energetically away from the body. Take a couple more rounds like this. Notice how the spine feels today. If there's places that are a little sticky, if it feels really smooth. Now remember that commitment to show up for yourself, make the practice whatever you need it to be today. Find neutral in your spine. Tuck the right toes under as you extend that right leg back behind you and then shift forward and backward, waking up the right calf, maybe really pressing back through the right heel. Sometimes it feels good to go ahead and come all the way onto the top of the right foot and kind of wag that heel right to left. Check in with the ankle and the shin. Just move around a bit here for a moment. The next time the shoulders are over the wrist, keep them there. Inhale the left elbow up. Find some trunk rotations so along through the spine again. Exhale, bring that hand down and the right knee back. Again, right leg back, inhale, left elbow. 
Exhale, right knee and left hand down. One more, we're gonna add on here. Inhale, lift the elbow, maybe extend the left arm. Then thread the needle. So sweep that left arm underneath your body. The right leg might stay long back behind you, or you can bring the right knee back under the right hip. We'll just be here for a couple cycles of breath. You can create some space in the left side of your back by breathing toward that left shoulder blade. If your right leg is still extended, slowly slide that right knee underneath the right hip. Press into the right hand. We're gonna unwind into a side plank variation. Left arm lift, extend the left leg back. Maybe you float that left leg up. Get active through the left foot, whether you point or flex, doesn't really matter. Just keep it active, take a breath in. As you exhale, bring that left hand down. Left toes drop and then extend the right leg back. So you're in a three-point plank here. Right knee down. Inhale to your side plank variation with the left limbs. Left foot can stay planted, stay long in the spine. Exhale, bring that left hand down. Right leg comes back. One more time. Inhale for your side plank variation. Exhale, three-point high push-up. Pause here. Take a breath in, bend the right knee, and then press back to three-legged dog as you open up through the right hip. Circle through your right ankle, wiggle through your right toes, really move through your top foot. Take another breath in as you re-extend the right leg, and then step the right foot forward, pivot the toes to the left, find Skandasana. So opening up in a little lunge, maybe the hands stay down. Maybe you even kind of back off so that you're not as deep in that squat and in that hip. Stay long in the spine, breathe. I'm gonna take it into a dragonfly twist. Left hand comes underneath the left shoulder. Spin open, reaching the right arm up, and then start to rotate the toes toward the long right side of your yoga mat. Coming onto the outer edges of the feet, the pinky toe sides of the feet. Lift the hips. Maybe you feel a little something in the outside of the right hip and thigh. Big inhale. Cross Arita. Take your time. Be mindful of how you're moving through the knees. Find that wide-legged straddle here. Shift some weight toward the balls of the feet. You might be worth it to explore a little sway. Take your favorite arm variation. One of mine is interlacing the hands at the nape of the neck and then just giving the head a gentle little nod side to side or tuck the chin toward the chest. Release the fingers down. Inhale your left arm up and open, rotating toward the back of the mat, lengthen out the spine, and then sweep the hands to the top of the mat. Rebend your front knee, step back to high push up. Drop the knees straight down. So they're not under the hips, but straight down. Maybe you even have to crawl back a little bit. Tuck the tailbone, press the hips forward. Lower down slow, slow, slow. Walk the fingers about a foot away from your shoulders to the side. Come onto the fingertips here. Inhale into cobra, wide arms. Look toward the left as you exhale. Drop the right ear and the right shoulder down. Come back to Cobra, inhale. The hands are active, but we're using the back as well. Look to the right, drop the left shoulder down as you exhale. Come back to Cobra, breathe in. Lower down slowly as you exhale. Hands under shoulders, press back to child's pose. Stay here, take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, relax the jaw, let it go. And clench to the face. Slide forward to hands and knees here. Reset a little bit, move the hips side to side. And then we're gonna find that same little mini opening sequence on the other side. So left toes come back, stretch out through the uh, ankle and calf. Feel free to come onto the top of the left foot and then move that heel side to side. So the more connected we are to our feet, the better the connection to that whole kinetic chain of the, the lower limbs is. So the more connected we are to the feet, the better we move through the knees and the hips. That left leg back, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, right elbow comes up, rotating the trunk. Right hand and left knee down on the exhale. Left leg back, inhale, right elbow up. Exhale, return the hand and the knee to starting. 
One more inhale, that right elbow may be extending the right arm and then thread the needle on this side. So you know your options are to keep that left leg back or to bring the knee down, maybe even to press the hips back toward a child's pose. Feel free to experiment a little bit, explore what makes sense for your body today. And then breathe into that area around the right shoulder blade. If your left leg is extended, slowly bring that left knee back down underneath the left hip, open up into your side plank variation. Right arm comes up, spinning the chest toward the right, maybe floating that right leg, active through the right foot. Inhale here, three point high push up on the exhale, left leg comes back. Drop the left knee, inhale, right limbs reach, long spine. Exhale, three point high push up. One more time. Deep breath. Hold your three point high push up. Bend the left knee and then press it back. The three legged dog as you externally open the left hip, move to the left foot. Maybe squeeze the toes in, circle the ankle around. Left leg long on an inhale. Step forward, Sandasana on this side, or the other option is your low lunge. Set the eyes to one spot and relax the muscles around the brow and the jaw. Dragonfly twist when you're ready, right hand comes down. Pivot that right heel up with the left arm, and then keep going. So pivot the toes toward the long left side of your mat. You're anchoring down more through the pinky toe side of your feet. So biasing into the pinky toe side of the feet. Root down into the right fingertips and the right big thumb. And then cross your feet a big thumb. Maybe you have a small thumb. <laughs> the right thumb. Take a few deep breaths in your prasarita. Pulse some ease into your body. Release the fingers if you took an arm variation. Inhale, right arm feels open, rotating the trunk toward the back of your mat. Exhale, sweep the hands forward, high push up. Rock forward onto the tippy toes. First regular vinyasa here, bend the elbows, lower half or all the way down. Cobra or upward facing dog, pull the chest through the arms and up dog. Then downward facing dog. Reset here, big breath in, big breath out. Look toward the top of the mat with the heels and then walk your feet up to the top. Feet underneath the hips or if you prefer them, you can bring them a little closer or further apart. Halfway stretch, slide the palms onto the shins, find neutral in your pelvis if you can. So start to explore what neutral feels like. Catch the calves as you exhale, maybe the chin even curls in towards the uh, chest. Roll up slow, let the head be the last thing to lift. Once the shoulders are over your hips, reach the arms up. Big full body stretch. You might even try coming up onto the balls of the feet, challenge the balance. Bring the hands to your heart, drop the heels down. Let the eyes soften down toward your fingertips or close the eyelids all the way down. Going back to this intention to Take exceptionally good care of yourself here to let this practice be an opportunity to fill any of those parts that might be running a little bit closer to empty. Call in whatever you need for this practice, be self-compassion, patience, determination, commitment. Take a deep breath in, inviting whatever qualities you need for this practice into your body fully. Open your mouth, offer it up. Blink the eyes open if they're closed. Sun salutation A. Arms come up on an inhale. Forward fold as you exhale, hinge the hips back. Halfway stretch, breathe in, long spine. Plant the hands, step back, high push up to low push up. Upward dog or cold breath. Inhale deeply here. Downward facing dog as you exhale. 
push with your hands, press the floor away. Take a breath, pedal it out anytime you need, or connect to a little bit of stillness. So sometimes still and steady is great in downward facing dog. Zip to the top together and then take a couple of these sun salutes. So we'll lift the heels forward and then step lightly, or maybe you hop to the top. Halfway stretch, breathe in. Fold forward, exhale completely. Rise with the inhale, big full body stretch. Hands to heart as you exhale. Inhale, reach up, option to lift the heels. Exhale and fold forward, maybe keeping the heels lifted, soften the knees. Halfway stretch, breathe in. And then flow through your vinyasa. However you want to get to down dog, maybe stepping straight into it. Take a couple more rounds of sun salutation A on your own. You start to feel any amount of self-consciousness. See if you can shift into self-compassion. Instead, there is no wrong way to do this. But the more you can suss out what your own body is needing, moment to moment, breath to breath, the more skillful the practice becomes and the more it can really serve you day to day. So you want the yoga practice to support the body, not really the other way around. That means modifying and adjusting. Building a little bit of heat if you want to pick up the pace. And the next time you land in downward facing dog, you can stay there. We'll start to build a flow. And hopefully the body's starting to feel good and warm. If you need a little bit more sun salutes, feel free to keep working on them. From downward facing dog, if you're feeling warmed up, right leg comes up on an inhale. Step the right foot forward. So the toes are gonna be right behind the right wrist or maybe replacing the right thumb. Warrior one, push in to the feet as you lift up. Root down to the base of the right big toe. So you can sense in space where that right knee is, anchor it over the ankle. Right knee's pointing toward the second or third toe here. One more long inhale, lengthening out through the arms to lift the ribs away from the pelvis and then to the back of the mat, pivot into warrior two, bending your left knee. Set your eyes over your left fingertips as soon as you land and breathe. So there won't be a ton of back and forth in this class, but a little bit. Flip the left palm toward the ceiling, anchor into your lunge, maybe deep in your lunge, press through the knife edge of your right foot, reverse your warrior, your long inhale, and then skandasana at the top of your mat. The option is to come into that low lunge instead. Dragonfly twist on the next inhale. Here's where we're gonna change it up. So keep the toes pointing toward the top of the mat as you rotate through the trunk. Find a lot of length and space here. Extended side angle. Bring the right forearm to the right side. Pivot your left heel down. Left arm comes up. We're not necessarily trying to fit the body between two planes of glass here. So pelvis might not be, you know, squished in any way. See if instead you can focus on stability. Press the feet down, ripping into the mat with the heels and the balls of the feet. Backstroke the left arm back behind you. Spin the left heel up, find your crescent lunge. Arms reach toward the ceiling. Really lift to the back of that left knee. Notice if you're gripping through the shoulders or the jaw. Redirecting that effort skillfully back into the legs. You can activate every little muscle fiber in the legs, maybe in the trunk muscles, lift the pelvic floor a bit, but keep the face relaxed. Bring the hands to the heart. Take another inhale. Prayer twist. Hook the left elbow outside of your right thigh. Press 
press the right hand down into the left if you need a little bit more rotation here. And then again, lengthen the spine. So the crown of the head is reaching past the top of the mat, but your tailbone and your right hip crease are pressing back. We're gonna come back to a crescent lunge, but with goalpost arms. Inhale the arms back and then lower the left knee to the mat. Find Hanumanasana. Straighten out the right leg just until you feel a stretch. So just moving some length into the back of the right leg. It does not necessarily mean that that knee straightens. Feel free to move around a little bit here. Fan out the right toes. If this feels pretty open and good, keep the hips level and both hip points pointing forward, but walk both of your hands outside of your right knee off to the right. So maybe use your fingertips there. Just gonna bring you a little <laughs> bit more length. You'll, you'll feel it in the right IT band. Come back through center if you walk the fingertips over to the other side. And come back to crescent lunge here. Tuck the back toes. Inhale the arms all the way up. Stamp the hands. Step back and take it through your vinyasa however you want to get to downward facing dog. Focus on the breath. Left side, inhale the left leg. Let it feel long and spacious. Step the left foot forward on your exhale, warrior one. Anchor the knife edge of your right foot back. Adjust your stance however you need. And then use the feet like you're steering with your feet to square the hips toward the top of the mat. A little wobble there. <laughs> Long inhale, lifting the ribs away from the hip points. So lengthen out through the side waist and then warrior two to the back of your mat. Settle in and set the eyes softly over your right fingertips here. Warrior two is a great place to kind of check in with some of the core, particularly the pelvic floor muscles. So, Move a banda and a lifting up through the pelvic floor there. Flip the right palm toward the ceiling, anchor into your lunge, reverse your warrior, deep inhale. Skandasana or low lunge to the top as you exhale. Stay here for a breath cycle. We're taking our time, first time through. I've got a little surprise for you on the, the next round. Hope you like it. Dragonfly twist, inhale, heel open, long spine, focusing on the breath again. Extended side angle, left forearm, left side. Right arm reaches up and over. Bring your awareness into your right side body. So anchoring down through your right heel and the knife edge of the right foot so much that the inner arch of your right foot maybe just has a little gap between it and your mat. Backstroke your right arm, pivot your right heel, crescent lunge on your inhale. Take your time. Sometimes slower is going to allow for more muscular activation and more stabilization. Hands to your heart. Keep the spine long. Just rotate the trunk to the left and then hinge forward, still lengthening through the spine. Left hand pressing into your right. We're going to come back to that kneeling crescent with goalpost arms on the inhale. So pivot the chest forward, lower the right knee gently. Inhale, take it into a little baby back bend. And then Hanumanasana, half split here, stretching out through the back of the left leg. Be moving through your left foot a little bit. I think sometimes in yoga, I, I got the message that if we weren't still in a pose, it was because we couldn't tolerate stillness or something. And I think that there's there's a little bit of dogma showing up there. So if it feels good for you to explore some deliberate movement, I've got zero problem with that. I think that that's actually a really, really good thing, really intuitive thing. Option to bring the hands to the outside of the fingertips to the outside of the left leg. But notice if your left hip is swiveling over to the left and forward, hug it back a little bit. 
can relax places of tension or patterns in the neck or the jaw. Come back through center. If you took that little quarter turn to the left, full crescent lunge. Deep inhale to lengthen, to rise. Flow through your vinyasa from here. You take your time. How skillfully can you move? When you get to downward facing dog, take a big cleansing breath in through your nose. Relax the jaw, open your mouth for your exhale. The right leg comes up again, breathe in. Step the right foot forward as you breathe out, breath in motion. Warrior one to the front on the inhale. Warrior two to the back on the exhale. Reverse warrior, still at the back of the mat. Breathe in. Skandasana or low lunge to the top as you breathe out. Right away, we've got dragonfly twist. Inhale, rotating through the trunk, reaching up through the right hand. Extended side angle on the exhale. Option to bring the right palm to the inside of the right foot. Backstroke your left arm. Pivot the left heel up. Crescent lunge as you breathe in. Prayer twist to the right as you breathe out. Kneeling crescent with bent elbows. Inhale, a little bit of a back bend here. And then bring the hands to the hips as you exhale. Hips come right over your left knee. Hover your left knee. Little pulses here. I'm going to pulse it low here. Squeeze through the glutes. Squeeze in through the sides of the pelvis, the sides of the hips. From here, we're going to keep the knees bent. I'll turn to the front in a second and step to like a little bear squat at the top. So the knees stay bent, step to a bear squat, we'll sit here. We're gonna add in a lift of the right leg. Lift the right leg, hold if you can. Back to your bear squat. Lift the right leg, hold if you can. Back to your bear squat, couple more. Woo. So the first time through, we're just getting familiar with this movement. Hold your bear squat, right foot is down underneath the right hip. I'm going to step the left foot back to your pulsing crescent. Four, three, two. Let's do it all again. Step to the front. Four, three, two. Shift the weight to the left. Right leg lifts. Back to your squat. Right leg lifts. Back to your squat. Last one. Lift. Squat pulse. Four, three. Weight is shifting to the right. Two, one. Left foot back. Four, three, two, shoulders over hips, one. Drop the back knee, inhale. Arms come up this time. Hanumanasana on the exhale. Take one cleansing breath here. Relax the jaw. We've got dragonfly twist again. Inhale, left knee and right arm come up. Exhale, bring the right hand down, find your three-point high plank. Right knee comes down, inhale, left limbs lift. Exhale, left hand and foot down, right foot kicks back. Again, inhale, side plank variation. Exhale, three point high plank. One more, side plank variation, breathe in. Three point high plank as you breathe out. Bring the, um, keep the right knee bent, and then slowly we're going to take it into wild thing. Got a little lost in my words there. Pivot to the outside of the left foot. Ball of the right foot drops. Reach the right arm up. Inhale deeply. You might find a little bit more extension or a lot more extension in the spine. Chaturanga on the exhale. Flow through. We meet up in downward facing dog. Definitely starting to warm up here. Left leg. Inhale it up. Step forward on the exhale. Warrior one, focus on the breath. Warrior two to the back. Reverse warrior, inhale deeply. Kandasana to the top as you exhale. Dragonfly twist, pivot open, breathe in. Extended side angle, option to bring that left hand all the way down this time. Circle the right arm up, inhale. Backstroke the right arm, pivot the right heel as you exhale, crescent lunge, lengthen out through the arms, and then prayer twist to the left. 
We're gonna find that kneeling crescent with bent elbows. Inhale, bring the hands to the hips. We've got the same little kind of burner here. See if you can keep the shoulders over your hips here and lift the back knee. So we're trying to bias these muscles in front of the left leg. So if you can keep the shoulders over the hips, we're gonna work into the front of the left thigh. Four, three, two, bear at the top for four, three, two, this time the weight shifts to the right foot, left leg comes out, back to bear. Left leg comes out, back to bear. One more, left leg out, bear for four, three, shift to the weight, two, shift to the left, rather one, right foot back for four, three, two, we'll repeat it, one, bear at the top, four, three, two, one, left leg lifts to there. Three, there, two more. Last one, four pulses in there, four, three, two, left foot stays planted on one, right leg comes back, four, three, two, one, drop the knee, inhale the arms. Hanumanasana, as you exhale, stretch out through the right hand, left hamstring, excuse me, breathe in, breathe out. Dragonfly twist, inhale, peel it open. Exhale, bring that top hand down. Three point high plank, left leg comes back here. Drop the left knee, inhale, the right limbs. Exhale, three point high plank. Inhale, drop the knee, lift the right limbs. One more time, breathe out. Inhale, open. Exhale to your three-point high plank, bend the left knee, swivel the heels to the right as you find vital thing. Extending the spine as much as it feels good, create some space in the front body, big breath in. Flow through your vinyasa. Option to take cow instead of upward facing dog. And then back to downward facing dog. Make the practice your own. We're gonna flow through that whole thing once more, but first we're gonna go to the top of the mat. So look forward, lift the heels. Step lightly, we'll hop it up to the top. Halfway stretch, big inhale. Hold forward, exhale. Stand all the way up here, breathe in. Bring the hands to the heart. Feel your feet anchoring down. Lift all of your toes up. Bend your right knee so that the heel comes back toward your body. And then reach the right hand for the inside of the right foot. Keep the right knee pointing straight down to start. Tuck the tailbone just a little bit to get a good stretch in the front of the right hip and thigh. And then perhaps you take it into your dancer. Extending the left arm forward, kicking the right foot back into your right hand. Set the eyes to one spot, but soften your gaze so like you're looking at something that you like, even though you may be concentrating really intensely here. And bring that right foot forward, maybe even keep hold of it. Bend the knee into the chest, interlace your fingers around the sole of the right foot and extend the right leg, maybe bending the knee, maybe straightening it out, maybe moving your body to the back of the knee. See if you can keep that right leg lifted, but reach the arms up. Long inhale here, we're gonna find standing splits. Sweep the right foot back, try not to touch the floor. Hands come down, but right leg lifts, breathe in. Chair pose, step the right foot next to the left as you breathe out. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Lightning chair on the exhale. Get your shoulder little squeeze in toward your spine. Back to chair, breathe in. Lightning as you breathe out. Five more, pump the breath in. Sit low, out for four. Three. What do you need to feel a little challenge here? Maybe take the hips lower, last two. One more, hold your lightning chair, hold your lightning chair. Squeeze the legs toward each other so the thighs are toward each other, the inner ankles are toward each other. Pulse it down an inch, up an inch. 
down an inch, up an inch. Make sure the low back is spacious. So booty's tucked just a little bit. Four, three, slow and controlled. Two, stand all the way up on one. Inhale, straighten out the legs. Forward fold on the exhale. Separate the feet to hips distance. Bind your big toes with your peace fingers here. Bend the knees quite a lot here. Find a long spine as you breathe in. And then keep the spine long. Start to straighten out the legs. And be keeping the connection between the ribs and the thighs. Let the head drop. Give your chin a gentle nod to your right shoulder. To your left shoulder. If the legs feel good as uh, you straighten them out, keep the heels down, but shift your weight toward the balls of the feet. We're gonna option for one lion's breath here. It always feels really good to me. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth for your exhale. Stick your tongue out, try and touch your chin. Actually really good for relaxing the jaw. Release the big toes. Roll it up nice and slow. We've got that little sequence on the other side. Ooh, I'm cutting it close on time. Catch the inside of the left foot. We'll be fine. Tuck the tailbone, point the left knee straight down for a moment, and then take it into dancer if and when you're ready. So you could absolutely stay here in this. This is a really beautiful hip flexor and quad stretch. Or you add more of some spinal extension coming into your dancer. I'm gonna rush this a little bit. My apologies, bring that left leg forward, interlace your fingers around the sole of the left foot, maybe extend the leg, maybe just pause and find your balance there. So committing to that balance, but being so kind to yourself if you're feeling wobbly or if it falls apart completely. We're gonna kick that left leg forward, reach the arms up, and then standing split on the exhale. Stay here for an inhale. That's what the breath You step the feet together as you exhale. That's what happens when you rush. Chair pose, breathe in. Lightning chair, breathe out. Three more. Inhale. Exhale, challenge yourself. Last two like this. If you need to take it lower, take it lower. One more. Hold your last lightning chair. Tuck the tailbone. Down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch. Five. Four, all the way up on one, three, it burns, two, and one. Stand up and stretch it out, opening up all those channels of energy. Forward fold on the exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Vinyasa, we need a downward facing dog. We've got that sequence one last time before we slow it all down and cool it down again. Right leg starts us off, inhale, lift it. Exhale, step forward. Warrior one, breathe in. To the back, we are two as you breathe out. Reverse warrior, inhale, follow the left hand. Skandasana at the top, exhale. Dragonfly twist, watch your right fingertips as you rotate the torso. Exhale, extended side angle, your variation. Reach the left arm forward on the inhale. Backstroke the left arm with the left heel on the exhale. Crescent lunge here, breathe in. Prayer twist to the right, just for that breath out. Lower the right, the left knee, excuse me. Inhale, the arms come back. Exhale, bring the hands to your hips, cover that back knee. Four, three, two, bear in one for four. Three, two, shift the weight to the left, right leg lifts four. Three, two, one, four more bears, four, three, two, one, left foot back, four, three, two, bear in one, last round on this side, three, two, one, right foot, four, three, two, one, bear for four, three, Two, left foot back on one, four, three, two, crescent lunge or airplane or we are three. Big long inhale here. Find reverse warrior. Inhale, right arm comes up. 
Cartwheel your hands regular old vinyasa for the sake of time. And keep those transitions really tight, streamlined, really in touch at all. Last side, here we go. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, step. Vira one. Deep inhale, use your breath here. Vira two to the back on the exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale, follow the left fingers. Skandasana at the top as you exhale. Dragonfly twist, find length in the spine, breathe into it. Extended side angle as you breathe out. Right arm reaches, inhale, root down to the knife edge of the right foot. Exhale, back stroke that arm and pivot the right foot. Crescent, breathe in. Prayer to your left. Crescent lunge, bend the back knee. Hands to the hips, we'll take it right into our pulses. Four, three, two, bear on one. Go four, three, two, one. Left leg, four, three, two, one. Four pulses in there. Four, three, two. Left foot stays forward. One, four, three, two, one. Last round there. Four, three, two, one. Left leg, four. So half counts. Three. Two and one. Last bear, pulse it out. Four, three, two. Keep the left foot forward. One, step the right foot back. Crescent lunge on the inhale. Airplane or bear three as you exhale. Set the focus, set the intention. Last little bit here. Reverse your warrior as deliberate as you can with whatever you've got left in your tank. High push up. Pause at the top of the push up, set the eyes to one spot, press the hands straight down, and then energetically imagine that you're bringing your thumbs to touch. Imagine sliding the thumbs in to touch each other underneath you. Take two more deep breaths. Open your mouth if you need. Lower all the way down on the exhale. Make a little pillow for your forehead by stacking hands here. Separate the feet at least max distance and then it feel good to waggle the hips or bend the knees and windshield wiper the feet. It's your time to roll onto your back. Bend the knees again here. Bend the elbows, bring the forearms perpendicular to the floor. Press the elbows down, keep the hips and the back of the head down, but arch the spine away from the mat like you're making a tunnel between your body and the floor. Breathe in. Exhale, press the spine down, tiny tuck of the tailbone, reach the arms straight up, touch the palms together, line the fingertips up. Elbows down, inhale, arch the back away from the floor, move real slow and smooth if you can. Exhale, spine kisses the mat, fingertips touch overhead. Two more, slow it down, smooth it out. Last one. Bring the arms to a goal post or a T. Separate your feet to max distance. Move the knees side to side, slow, slow movement. It feel good to nod the head the opposite direction of the knees. See if you can practice moving slower than you think is necessary. I was rushing to get the garden water before it got hot and accidentally trampled the flower. It's these little little things, like these little moments where we have an opportunity to slow down and to tune in. And in doing so, tap into all of the skill and the wisdom that's available to us that we might miss out on if we're rushing. When you're ready, come to your center one leg at a time, extend the legs out into Shavasana. Relax the arms. And the hands down by your side. Let the back of the head melt 
the shoulders now. We're just floating and on top of a nice cool lake here. Let the body fully, fully let go. Those places where you still have some gripping. Unclench. And we'll be here for just about 30 seconds. Slow the breath. The nervous system shift into its reparative side. And listen for my voice really shortly to close to the breath. Time to shift from your back to a seated position, bringing your hands to your heart when you land. Take one last moment practicing staying nice and slow and intentional, choosing stillness just for a moment longer than maybe is in our comfort zone. Trust that you did enough on your mat today, that you are enough. The eyes stay closed if they're still shut. Circle the arms out to the side and overhead. Big, long inhale, gathering up all of that good energy. Exhale, hands to your heart. Thank you for joining me for some practicing. I hope that you feel well. Please drink lots of water if you're with me in the heat of California here today. Take care.